Okay. Hi, guys. Um, it's Pi and Purist Maiden, and um, we are here with this evening's extreme DIY. <laughs> um, just so for a brief introduction. Um, so, Pi, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi. If you weren't here for the last panel, I'm Planful Pi. Uh, go by she, her pronouns. Um, I'm a nail wizard, although we just had a fabulous nail panel earlier today. Um, but uh, I'm also a posing professor. Uh, if you would like to take your posing to the next level, um, there are archives of my posing panels on the Bay Area K uh, site and on YouTube. I have a Twitch account, but don't go there. It's degenerate stuff. And, <laughs> but you are free to follow me on my Instagram, which I never update. And also, I forgot to update the descriptions for this time around. But Pai is also an expert in what is Kawaii and what is Kawaii. Um, so be sure to tune in to that exciting panel with Pai and Mani this evening. Wait, um, that already happened. Oh, did it? They, well, yeah. they already tuned in and they, yeah. Time's a flat circle anyways. <laughs> um, so I'm Purist Maiden. I can't tell time. Um, I am a teddy bear, teddy bear tea party enthusiast um, and a gremlin. And you can follow me on Instagram if you want to, but you probably shouldn't do that. Um, At your own risk. Degenerate <laughs> Tetris and such. Yep. Yeah. So we are big on the degenerate Tetris, as you all know. <laughs> Um, and so this evening, um, just in case you guys haven't tuned into the previous DIY contest, just to give you a quick kind of rundown of how this is going to work. So everyone has submitted their incredible bear themed or space themed DIYs to us. Tonight, we're going to compliment those DIYs and say some nice stuff about it. Compliment them. the hell out of them. Going to get so many compliments. It's going to be aggressively complimented. Like if you need a self-esteem boost next time, mm -hmm. enter the DIY contest. Mm -hmm. It's free, it's fun, um, and I feel like we just get aggressively nicer every time. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and then after that, after the contest, um, everybody is going to vote. As you watch the slideshow, look out for those entries that are marked with an asterisk. Those are gonna be the entries that are eligible for uh, contest voting. Some of the entries are just for fun, um, so they're not included in the voting. And then last, um, someone or multiple someones in this case will win. Um, the judge's choice winner will win a, uh, a free copy of the PDF uh, pattern of their choice for the event created by Kelp. And um, the winner of the voting will have their choice of either a $30 gift certificate to Sugarfina, so you can buy yourself a bunch of gummy bears and get sick. Um, or what was the other option? Oh, God. Oh, okay. Build-A-Bear, was it? It was Build-A-Bear, build yes, it's mm. Build-A-Bear. Sorry, I had yeah. a brain bite. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, not sponsored. Um, we just wanted to have some cute bear prizes for everybody mm -hmm. to win because that's fun and we like bear stuff. So mm -hmm. please, uh, yeah, so please look forward to it and um, let's get started to these for these DIYs. So yeah. our first category, oh, and also just, just so everybody knows, um, Pai has not seen these DIYs. She yeah. is coming in clean. She is just going to be complimenting straight off the cuff look forward to it and the we also out of them. everybody's got their little bear friend i, I was my bear with friend. mine earlier but then i changed so now my usakumia is better dressed than me but it's fine it's, fine. it's got a pink again okay. yeah okay so uh first up we have an entry from jennifer and this is a cuddly fluffy flannel bear backpack um she made this bear backpack using a simplicity pattern and it's made out of flannel, so it's extra cuddly. Uh, she created it from scratch and she modified it to have a little pocket inside and a zipper in the back so it can hold all of the essentials. And she made the straps out of a matching pink fabric. Um, so Pai, what do you think about this one? Wow, it made us from hand, like from scratch? That's yeah. amazing. Look at those fluffy arms. Look at the pocket. Look at those <sighs> straps. You can take it everywhere. That's I know. amazing. I, and I love I the pattern. I love the, the, I love the um, I just like the pattern um, fabric for the fluffy friend. It's very cute. Yes. I agree. Oh, the okay. choice of fluffy flannel fabric and the heart print 
is adorable. Absolutely to die for. Great job, Jennifer. Oh, look at, look at the nose. <laughs> look at that part little snout. What do, what do bears have? What's uh, a bear nose? Nose is snout. I think I think snout's no. right. Feels I, it's, it's, that's a perfectly pert nose. Yes. Super cute. Just oh A plus. And a plus. as uh, as of six, we said it already holds my heart. I think this bear is big enough to hold all of our hearts, and that's mm -hmm. really what we need in the world today. Mm -hmm. And it can't hold those hearts, so it's got a pocket in them. You can put your whole fist in it. <laughs> um, can't say that for Cumius. I was gonna say maybe let's not fist the contestants' entries. Um, anyway, okay, sorry, I'm done. I, it was supposed to be compliments, not bad. Said no. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, so <laughs> I'm sorry. This, I, I understand. I I know this is a Wendy's. I'm uh okay. I'm getting, this is a I'm Wendy's. I'm sorry. From higher up, I'm sorry. So. I want I wanted to compliment that you can fit a lot of things in there, like a fist. But okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Move on. And so next up, um, we have an entry from Corpus <gasps> Volpes. And they made a adorable tartan Totoro coordinate, and the story behind it is just as cute. So um, she purchased this Totoro Plus from Japan a few years ago, and she took good care of it. But in spite of that, one of the ears started to fall off. So she reattached it and covered the seam with the adorable tartan bow. And she liked it so much, she decided to make a whole outfit. She made the bow, the collar, and the dress, and it's all hand sewn. <sighs> oh my god, it's so cute. I love the fixing, you know, like fixing it with the head bow and i love the black detailing like the little bow and the little heart um is it like button or like embroidery on the head I think bow? It's embroidery embroidery oh that's so precious that's I know. So adorable i and love I the love black that. essence me too like red and black tartan is i feel like a lot of these entries were like scientifically engineered to capture my attention which i appreciate um mm -hmm. Love the tart, the black and red tartan, and I love the cute story behind it. I always mm -hmm. think it's great to see people like mending and kind of improving old things they've had for a while. And what a cute way to do it! Yeah, move over, yeah. Usuf, you know, Totoro's in the house. Yeah, uh, and the fit of the, the, the dress thing is so cute with the buttons down the bottom. Oh, it's so adorable. Uh, I want to twin with it. I know, I know. Now, this is like really inspiring me. I want to like twin with everybody's stuffed mm -hmm. animal. I know. Yes. 10 out of 10 would hug too. Would hug. No fisting, just hugging. Just hugging. Only yeah. hugging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. not get our chat flagged again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it really getting flagged? <laughs> oh, no. I think Mani jokes. Okay. Okay. Um, so next up, we have an entry from Usakumiya Chan. <gasps> May presented Nursakumiya Chan, which is another entry like scientifically engineered to capture my interest. So Usakumiya Chan says, Nurse Akumia is here to show support for, to the frontline workers and encourages everyone who's able to get the COVID vaccine. Um, she designed and drafted the pattern for a pochette sized nurse apron, and then it's fully lined. She finished all the edges, so there's no raw edges on the whole apron, and all the stitching was done by hand. The pochette size mast was also a custom pattern, and the Usukumia with his little baby doll dress um, is from Baby. This is amazing. Okay, first of all, plus one for the for the pun, the nurse Akumia. Excellent. Uh, and look at those edges on the apron. I know. The bottom frill, that's hand sewn. That's so detailed. It's so like poofy and like volume. It's like volume. It's perfect. And I love the fabric that was chosen for it. It's like just like got the kind of like a grain in it. Yeah. And just just the stripe texture. Detail. All the finished edges, but the mask, custom I mask. I know. Oh God, it's my Kumakumia is extremely jealous. <laughs> very jealous. Everybody Just, should be jealous. I'm jealous yeah. of this outfit. Same, honestly, I have that apron for myself. And also, uh, as an aside, um, of six we mentioned in the chat, Usakumia Chan does have an Instagram account. Um, cool. And it's about how Uzukumia is using wine to get through the pandemic, which I think we all deeply relate to. We are very, really, very relatable. So go follow that Instagram instead. Yes, it is a delightful Instagram. I don't have a cute outfit like this. Why follow mine? I, I know. 
All right. So next up, we have um, we're going to get even deeper into <gasps> bear moves. These are some Teddy Patissiers, and I'm sorry. It, please don't at me for my bad French spelling. I, I know I messed it up. I. It's okay. <laughs> we don't. We don't have a degree in. But it's fine. Uh, so this entry is from Molly Moonflower, and she says, "Getting meta with meta, which a plus, um, mm-hmm. but Teddy Patisserie come alive, or at least as much as she could in the time that she had. Uh, her bear friends, Peaches and Herod, are modeling accessories from the print. Peaches shows off the details to her chef's hat head bow, um, and they all come apart so they can be worn separately. Herod, he's a little shy. He's hiding back there behind his lollipop brooch." Um, but he's also got a little candy hat of his own. And the chef hat head bow, uh, Herod's hat, both lollipops, which are wearable brooches, um, the meta symbol brooch, the small wrapped candy pins, and the plush bear ear clips. Molly made all of those. Uh, the detachable bows are from the meta skirt. And then um, there's all, you can kind of also see the print in there. Um, mm-hmm. Is Herod were also not made, made by her, but they're, they're hanging out in there and they are excellent models a plus mm-hmm. is good job herod a plus love the convertible you know is a clip as well so it's not just for show you can also put it on your body uh molly knows how to go after my heart because look at that cookie oh it's so fluffy it looks so know, delicious. I'm hungry. <laughs> and like the little hat is just the right size it's a little bow detail and stuff like that yeah molly also has a crochet panel on monday she's a DIY genius. All of you should go watch that panel. She's going to be amazing um, doing a crochet craft for us on Monday. But look at all these details. Uh, and it's meta uh, with the little crown and stuff. Just just, just perfect. Yeah. It looks and delicious. I know. I was going to say, it all looks really good, first of all. Um, second of all, she did include a picture of the print. Unfortunately, I didn't have room to include it in the slides without making the pictures of the bears really small. Um, but just for anyone who maybe hasn't seen the print, I strongly suggest looking it up because she mm-hmm. really captured mm-hmm. the essence of those Teddy Patissiers, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So next up, we have um, an entry from Hell Kitten Dreams Lolita. <gasps> he made a mini rug. Um, and she says, I made a mini rug of Lyrical Bunny that I needle punched by hand. The whole thing took about two weeks to complete. I drew and needle punched the whole rug and I also did the backing myself. The yarn and canvas were purchased. And you can kind of see from the left to the right the stages of progress as it comes along. And just how cute is this? <laughs> Mini rug. Oh my God. This is hand punched. That's a yeah, that's a lot of effort. Oh my uh, god. So <laughs> good. Like I've I've been watching, I find needle punching videos. This is gonna like out mm-hmm, music. I find needle punching videos extremely relaxing to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, but from those videos, you can also see how labor intensive the process is. Mm-hmm. And the, the amount of work that went into this is just incredible. Oh, wow. It's yeah, such a- it looks <laughs> great. And I, I I don't have a good reference of how big it is. It looks like it's like this big-ish, like a mini rug. I don't know how big it is. Yeah, but whatever it is. I, th- I wasn't sure that, unfortunately, that information was not included um, in the entry, but maybe, uh, maybe Hell Kitten, you can clear that up for us. Because, but regardless, I mean, I feel like it's a feat either way. It's, it's small and tiny. It's cute at any size. It's yeah, adorable any size at any size. At any size, it's impressive. But if it's small, that's a lot of detail work. And then if it's big, that's just a lot of work. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm so impressed. Yeah, I'm so impressed. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, the colors are just right. It just comes alive. It's I know, perfect. the little eyes. Oh, the little eyes. Very good. Okay, so next up, uh, we have a malicious <gasps> bear from our friend Mindy. Um, and Mindy captioned this as uh, waiting for the APUSA website to reload. Um, and I, as somebody who was frantically <laughs> refreshing uh, the APUS website the other day for those mint milky bear accessories. Mm-hmm. I relate to this bear on a spiritual level. <laughs> Anybody mm-hmm. else uh, really waste an hour of their time on that bloodbath? <laughs> Not in the chat. <laughs> Look at this knife. Oh, it's so, so like, it's so aesthetic. This I knife. 
it's just 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 aesthetic just a plus on aesthetic this yes, go to bed also, this is a <laughs> yeah mindy also submitted this with the comment of we can add our own caption so uh mm. please feel free to meme this add your own caption and credit mindy <laughs> um yeah Stabby. uh Okay, so next up, we're going to move into our next category, which is become the pair. Mm. Um, and these are wearable, either, this is kind of a mishmash because I messed up and I put two things, I thought of this name for two categories and then put them together, even though they're not the same. So this is part uh, wearable bear items and then part uh, people doing art of people, other people wearing bear items. It's a, it's a bear category. Yeah, so it's it's some bear stuff. You okay, know. It's, it's, you don't have to be uh, embarrassed about the name. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, oh, and Mindy also says she she would like to know all of your captions. So feel free to toss those in the chat. <laughs> um, okay, so first up, we have an entry from Avatar. Let's see if I can get this video to play. I'm not really. There we go. Okay. So oh. she made a pair of constellation bear ears to go with her adorable starry night coordinate. She created the base using a satin wrapped headband, buckram, and millinery wire. Then she decorated with a lush purple satin, golden pearl trimmings, and faux fur. She looks out of this world. And uh, she is a milliner, which is impressive as heck. I am like in awe. Um, and she created everything from scratch. So I'm I'm in love and I'm in awe of all the work that went into this. <laughs> I'm in awe. I love the color combination. I love the gold. Um, because like a lot of times with like with space things, you get like silver a lot of the times, but so I love gold with this like out of the world theme. And like gold with purple has always been one of my favorite combinations. So I love the gold with the purple and the fur and everything and like the little details on the the pearls and like decorate it and stuff. It's really good. It I fits know, her outfit have... really well too. I know. I want. love like I'm sorry. And someone just said it's a big want. It's a purple, <laughs> golden purple. <laughs> All right, Moni. <laughs> All right, Moni, chill. <laughs> so yeah, I'm with Pi. I absolutely love these ears. And I especially love the way they, like the whole coordinate has this like super cool kind of punk feel with the combined mm -hmm. like black and then fuchsia and bright blue with the gold accents mm -hmm. absolutely incredible and i'm also just like very impressed that it, you make hats for a living cool as heck super impressed color us very impressed <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if somebody said laker colors mm -hmm. not wrong <laughs> and someone caught on to the theme of ursa major right and it's also, california uh, also i apologize um i i made a mistake when i was creating a slideshow this is a contest entry, and I accidentally did not put an asterisk after it. But this is one of the excellent entries to the contest, contest, and you can vote for it once it's done. Um, and just, you don't have to remember that on your own. The contest and uh, voting form has photos of each entry, so you can mm -hmm. refresh your memory. I don't expect mm -hmm. you to remember. <laughs> okay, next up, we have... Um, there we go. Next up, we have an illustration from Souffle Pancakes. And she is an illustrator and artist who uses traditional pen and ink. And her inspiration is that she just really likes to draw cute things, which honestly, I love that. Sometimes that's all you want, just cute stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is all done like ink and pen. and Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like impeccable. Like I love the soft feeling that you get from it. Um, but also the contrast with the dark like background. And I always like, um, you know how they use the pattern on the dresses, kind of like this, uh, yeah, I don't know what that's called, but like they, they laid a pattern over like a dress as the, the texture. I love that. I love all these details with like the ruffles and the shading of the ruffles. Oh, it's beautiful. And like, she has this like soft dress on, but she's giving you this like, the stare, you know, like, don't fuck with me kind of bear look with the barriers. Very I nice. Love I love the I contrast. Love yes, I agree. I love the screen tone, like perfectly geometric pattern. Um, mm -hmm. The skirt, it's absolutely adorable. Also, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm going to take a 20 second intermission because my cat is scratching at my door. Okay. 
I will entertain people um, by okay. holding this around. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at this. Is the interlude done? Also, yes, I'm done. But just an update. Oh. Uh, Herb doesn't. Herb wanted me to open the door, and then as soon as I opened the door, he ran away. So <laughs> um, I'm sorry. If her if he comes back, I will show him to everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Um, so next up, we have an entry. Or this is not a contest entry, but this is an illustration from Eerie Deary, who first off has a cute, the cutest username, um, and they uh, they titled this illustration "Teddy Bear's Sweet Dream." And they were inspired to draw this scene thinking of the adventures that her teddy bear might dream about, which is so cute. Um, and for this uh, beautiful yet fleeting shared dream, she designed an outfit with a shooting star motif. And of course, she couldn't forget some matching bear ears. I love this. Uh. Yeah, the colors are so cute. I love the color combinations of the stars and uh, even the outfit has so many details of the sheer sleeves like oh my god to I want die for outfit. right um and also the the rainbow bangs mm -hmm. you know it's gotta rock that yes uh, yeah i just love I, the combination of colors in this i know the combination of colors is so like perfect and cute and i really just I think that's the cutest thing in the world that like your teddy bear just dreams about having adventures with you. Like how precious is that? Mm -hmm. I hope, I hope, I feel like Usukumiya like probably just dreams about the time I tried to like stuff my phone inside of his head. <laughs> we, we said no more fisting talk. Um, we can't. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, in, in the past, I refer to my uh, Usukumiya as being stuck as in their fleshy, uh, sorry, in their cottony uh, bodies, you know, in the, stuck in their cottony prisons, unable to escape, like how we are stuck inside of our fleshy prisons, you know. Yeah, so, pretty much existential crisis stuff. So this sorry, is definitely more of what they actually dream of. I hope so. Mm -hmm. To return to the brief interlude, he came. Okay. Back. This is her. Came back. Hello, Earth. Say hi, sweetie. Say hello. Say hi to everybody. Okay. Yeah, he's he's over it now. Okay. <laughs> um, so next up we have, so this is getting back into the wearable stuff uh, now that we've had our little mm -hmm. interlude. Um, this is an entry from <gasps> Sherry and we get to watch her making process, which like, how cute is this? Oh. Um, she handmade this felt oh, Mia Chun mascot badge. The pattern she drafted in Procreate and cut from felt and then lovingly stitched it together, stuffed it, and finished it with a pin bag. And she designed the pattern and crafted the whole piece from scratch. Wow. Oh my god, it's adorable. I love these kind of felt crafts. I actually tried to make a few. Um, do I have one right here? here. Oh yeah. You can, you can see my, um, you can see the, you want to see the more horrifying one? Yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, this is uh, an illustration someone made, and like he's a, a bad drawer, but he drew this camel, and now it haunts our dreams. So I decided to make a felt <laughs> camel. Oh Look at this stupid face. It's got four humps, it's <sighs> four legs, because it's a camel, and oh it's got God. a round butt. So I really admire people who like spend the time to make these like cra like felt crafts because it's it's hard <laughs> it's, it's not really hard yeah yeah to make it look nice and like it's a lot um yeah so good job this looks very adorable unlike whatever abomination i made so well, i think it's it's like a little cursed but a little cute you know and i think that the cursed cute divide that's that's where it's at um yeah, I, I can't find the not cursed one. So uh, okay. that's all we have to settle for. Well, we have another not cursed mascot. Oh, good. Um, this one is from, if I can Bless get my eyes. to the next one. This <gasps> one Sune, and she created a plush bear pin to go with her honey cake JSK. She was inspired by the honey bear bottle in the print. 
And she bought the felt. She had the ribbon paper, thread and glue. Um, and she designed, cut, glued everything and put it together herself. And that includes all the little hand stitches around the edge, which are so neat and cute. Like, how are you guys so good at hand stitching? I like just Yay. jab my finger then bleed on stuff. I know. Just, this is so cute. I, if people don't know, I'm a big fan of honey cake. It's like my first dream dress and forever will be, even though I have it already. So this is amazing. And I never thought about making a felt badge of the honey um, cake mascot so this is adorable and like this looks so happy it's so happy to be a bottle of honey just sitting on the shelf waiting for you to squeeze it and just pour out delicious honey all over yeah, your pancakes it's just wait look at how happy it is. <laughs> uh, i know i so also uh of six wants to know what is every does anyone have a favorite honey because I, I just like eat honey. It's good. But it's all like all the honey is good honey, right? I like spiced honey. Ooh. You know, honey with a little bit of cake and can put it over like chicken wings or fries or whatever. Just hot honey, spiced honey. That's some yes. good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so next up, um, we're getting into a different kind of aspect of the wearable uh, as thing with some nail art. Um, oh. These are Candy Days, Ursa Major Bear Claws. And oh. inspiration was Asian nail art, as it tends to look more cutesy and sheer, as opposed to the bold, vibrant looks more common in the U.S. Um, and she used, uh, she was inspired by Nayo Nails sculpting, um, and she wanted to try to emulate their 3D roses, mermaids, and bat wings. She grew her oh. nails, um, and she painted and sculpted everything. And then the nail, uh, the nail polish, glitter, and rhinestones were all purchased. What do you think, Pi? Love it. This is a uh, Opsixi's sister, so I had a little warning about this, but like, it's so great. I love the, I love the giant nail art stuff. Just, it's all over your nails, and you can't do anything with it. So I love it. It's so, it's so big and chunky, and right on the index finger, one of the best fingers, uh, if I may say so myself. So right there, just perfect. I love the bear. It's so cute. It's the right size. I know. Like, it's just big, chonky like, bear. Perfectly sculpted, chonky mm -hmm. bear. Mm -hmm. It's so good. <laughs> and the other colors, like with the glitter and like the paints. and It's, it's uh, so cute. She, she also helpfully included a uh, a supply list, which I will drop oh. in the chat in case anybody else wants to try to make their own cute little bear guys. I might want some chunk on my nails. So also, uh, of six, we'd be sure to give your sister a shout out from all of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, next, so our next, we're going to move into our next and final category, which is, um, if I can make the slideshow work. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> No, we're not. I won. <laughs> so, uh, last for the um, last for the become the bear category, we actually have Pi's uh, nails today, and Pi made some cinnamon squirrel bear claws. Pi, do you want to tell us a little bit about your inspo? Yeah, um, it won't focus, but uh, they are supposed to be based on the angelic pretty bears chocolatier um, <laughs> bears. <laughs> Um, so I actually, short story, short story time, I made these on stream, so I streamed myself painting them, and they went through a journey of looking like a squirrel to a guinea pig to a cat, and then finally to <gasps> kind of like a bear, so a bear. they've seen some stuff. Um, I tried <laughs> to paint a hat on them, because you know, like, in the chocolatier, they have, like, the bear hat, mm -hmm. one of them has a hat, one that has, like, a maid outfit, <laughs> doesn't look much like it. Oh, see, I this admit. is really funny that you say that because I looked at it and I was immediately like, oh, it's the little chocolate bears. Like, I knew what you meant. I knew what you were going for. Well, other people thought that they looked like little gray hairs on the bear. Okay, you know what? I can see it that way too, but I feel like those are both good options. Like, either you have grandpa, cute grandpa bear or cute chocolate bear. And either way, it's cute, right? Either way. Um, I have to say one last thing. My favorite is probably this one. The, not because it's the middle finger, but because it reminds me of those Haagen-Dazs uh, 
double thick chocolate ice cream bar. You know what the yep. gold? Yep. Yep. This one. <sighs> I'm not flipping yeah. you off. I'm trying to show you my favorite nail. Yeah. I, Enough. I, Just this, I don't need to compliment myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will compliment them. I think they're adorable. I love the bear's little faces. I think they're cute as heck. Um, and now I want to, now I wish I had painted my nails. Shoot. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, anyways, so to all of you guys in the chat who are saying you're hungry, um, please get ready for our next category, which is Ooh. sweet. Um, and these last two entries are some adorable bear themed pastries that our contestants made and like pie, get your compliments ready. Okay. For all right. Sweet. Hold on. <laughs> Getting my compliments ready. <laughs> so, okay, go. Actually, wait, sorry, one second. Let me uh, get this piece of plastic from Herb really fast. Okay. Anyways, sorry, sorry guys that Herb has made such an appearance today and it's bear themed, but he uh, doesn't like not having the attention on him. Um, so, first up, we have an <sighs> entry from Matisha Frills, and this is her Kumia Chen's Milky Way cake. And she made a cake based on the baby print. Kumia Chan's Glitter Milky Way, which for her is the perfect motif for this event. I think she nailed it. Um, and she made the cake and the filling, which is lime curd and coconut mousse, which is, sounds cool, delicious. That's great. And she made the outer decoration. And she noted it was her first time working with sugar paste, um, which I never would have guessed. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Stars on stars on stars. Props to Mommy, I also thought it was a like I thought it was a pillow or sewn at first as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. I am so impressed with this. It is incredible. I am so impressed with the sculpting on the bears are so cute with surrounded by stars and oh uh, it's so cute. It's it almost looks like you shouldn't eat it. You know, what I mean, like you don't want to like eat it because it's so perfect and so precious. I would like rest my face upon it and eat it. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Just like, yeah. I, uh, and Minty said somebody should make this as a bag, which frankly I second. Mm -hmm. Maybe get over here, get mm -hmm. on. <laughs> um, but yeah, this it's is. Adorable. Just, I don't. I don't. I'm out of nice things to say. I'm. I'm speechless because this is so cute. Ah! Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> um. Okay. And so last but not least, we have an entry from Phantasma <gasps> Gore. And these are her Bear Hug Banana Bread Cupcakes. And the cupcakes are banana bread with pecans, cheesecake frosting, and sugar cookie bears on top. They were initially inspired by her urgent need to use some extremely ripe bananas, which it, we've all been there, friend. <laughs> we've all been there. The only way banana bread gets made, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the pecans in the recipe reminded her that she had these cute cookie cutters designed to make cookie animals that can hug a nut or candy. Um, <laughs> Very yummy. I, also, I love, note, I love when the entrants include their own bear puns. Mm -hmm. Plus points. So good. Um, and so she made cupcakes, frosting, and bear cookies from scratch, and she got the cookie cutters online. The Tasmagorical, if you're here, please, I'm begging you to drop a link to these bears because they are, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> They are so cute. I love the long arms hugging the pecan. Oh, so adorable. Holding the little pecan baby. And banana. I love banana as a flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, so these are perfect. They look really delicious. With the pecan, with that nice little crunch, you know, with the banana bread. This is definitely super delicious. And I, know. I love I how... I love the, them hugging the pecan. I know. Like, they're so excited to eat the pecan. They're just like, I know. <laughs> I want to be the pecan. I know. Uh, Eerie Deary says they'd feel conflicted eating them. And honestly, like, this is another treat that I think I would, like, I love banana bread and I would wreck mm -hmm. cakes, but, like, I would feel pretty bad eating those bears with their little face. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't look, I couldn't look them in the eye and take that pecan away. Well, you don't have to. You can just eat head first, so you don't have to look them in the eye. Oh, that's if, fair. And if you eat them feet first, you're you're savages. I always actually like when I eat animal. Fun fact: when I eat things with faces, I always turn the face away because it feels weird to eat it when it looks. <laughs> <at me. laughs> it feels do you do you say a little prayer? And it's like 
<laughs> when I was a Heaven, kid, I, when I was like very little, like when I was like five or six, I thought it was like I I was like, how can I eat a gummy bear? It's so mean. <laughs> Say a little prayer. Um, Your father in heaven, forgive me for I'm about to commit this sin. <laughs> so, anyways, so this is the last. Uh, this is the last slide in our little panel. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. As I mentioned previously, um, all of the entries will be available for voting following the panel and uh, Emma should be have a link to the um, voting to drop in the chat in a couple seconds. Um, oh, there we go. Thank you, Emma. Um, and, uh, and thank you, Emma, for doing our for doing our tech stuff and helping us out. Um, but yeah, you can go on and check out the voting form. It's going to be open until Monday at 6 p.m. So you've got a couple days to think about who you want to win. But don't forget, um, because I know I've definitely done that, I've waited till the last second because I got indecisive and then I didn't vote. And then my favorite person still won judge's choice, but, you know, I still felt bad. <laughs> Get your voting in. Um, yeah. You have any closing? You want to close this out, Pi? No, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for submitting these entries. Uh, every time, it's a pleasure to see what crafty things people get up to and express themselves creatively. So I always look forward to these. So please keep making stuff and submitting them. Yeah, it's fun. I'm with Pi. I feel like every time the DIY contest entries are just like, each time I'm like, wow, that's it. I've seen it. Like the cutest thing. Mm -hmm. You guys like find some new cute thing to make. Like, yeah, it's so impressive. Just please mm -hmm. keep up the good yeah, work. So please yeah. keep making things and submitting them because we really want to see them. We love see. I love. I love my favorite. There's literally nothing I love more than saying nice things about people's cute crafts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, it's if you, like I said early at the beginning of the panel. Um, if you ever want a self esteem boost submit to these DIY contests because I guarantee you I will always say something nice. And if you are really lucky, uh, you know, Herb might come on screen and say something cute for your panel <laughs> or for your entry. So, yeah. Um, um, yeah, I think yeah. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. Um, we really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. And tune in for the next panel, which is uh, Stitch It Yourself. Oh, yes. With Oh, stitch yourself panel is next um first so if you missed out on the diy fun this time you can get it tonight by doing a little cross stitching yep that's coming yep. up very soon bye guys bye, bye guys bye.